my name is Jose Campos and I am an artist from El Salvador working in the UK. I usually work under the name of Studio Lenka because studio is a place for everyone and Lenka refers to uh, my ancestors of El Salvador. The work we're going to be creating today is a, a drawing with different materials and it's based on my work Loras, which is the painting behind me. Uh, Loras means parrots in Spanish. So the materials I have are the drawing resource um, available on the website, um, the images of birds, I have carbon paper, I have a pencil, uh, colored pencils, paint brushes, any type of paint, and some oil pastels. So the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to add color to the faces here. And I normally just use the colors that I feel um, are right. Um, I try to stick to warm colors. So colors like browns and burgundies and oranges. And I think that the reason I use these colors is because I like to think about um, skin colors and, and you know the variety of skin colors that exist. So I'm just going to add the colors sort of in patches around the face. And when I'm doing a large painting, um, I work exactly the same way. So I'm just adding lots of different colors, switching. Okay, it doesn't have to be perfect. So you can see that the face is starting to fill with patches of warm colors. Okay, and I'll do this face as well. I'm working in a sort of circular motion. It just feels right. Um, but just trust your in intuition and just um, do what you feel is right, really. There's no right or wrong. I'm gonna add some red or some pinky colors to their cheeks to give them some nice warm cheeks and some red on the lips. I often have two figures in my work um, because I think they sort of tell a story when they're together. Now, the next thing that we're gonna do is we're going to add the patterns inside of the figures. And um, for that, we're going to use the images of birds. There's two ways that you can do this. You can do this with the oil pastel mono printing technique, or you can do this with the carbon paper. Um, you don't have to use both. Um, if you have oil pastels, that's perfectly fine. If you have uh, the carbon paper, that's fine as well. Um, I would suggest that you use a dark oil pastel. So maybe like a dark blue or a black. Um, and what you're gonna do with your picture, these are available on the website as well. You're just going to coat the back of the picture with some oil pastels. It doesn't have to be perfect, it, you know, it's just, it's just the back, we're just coating it. You can do this very quickly. Okay. Just coating it like that. And then you're gonna place the image where you want it to be. And with the pencil, you just go over the, the different contours, the different lines. And you can do this as quick as you want. You can be quite expressive with your, with your marks. Um, or you can be sort of uh, very detail oriented and take your time, it's up to you. So you just go over the lines. The more detail you have, the nicer the monoprint will be. And uh, one thing you want to do is make sure you're not moving this image because you'll lose your place. So you can see that the bird is starting to come through there, okay? 
and I'm just holding the image down so I don't lose my place. But it's nice to have a little peek because then you can see where it actually needs more details. So I'll just put more details around the head here. Okay. And when you're um, monoprinting the bird, think about the composition. So staying within the figure um, and how the sort of how the bird um, sort of leaves the, the the body of the figure. So it might come off the page like this. That's absolutely fine. So that's the mono printing technique. The second way of doing this is with carbon paper. So what you want to do is you want to work with the shiny side down and you just place the carbon paper like this and then you take um, an image of a bird. I'm just going to check to see how it's laying on the figure. That's that looks good to me. And then you do the exact same thing. You just go over the different lines. I'm working quite quite quickly and sort of with expressive marks, but you can really take your time with this. It's completely up to you. In my painting Loras, I um, filled the figure with, uh, well, the figures with many um, birds. And I was referencing um, the jungles of El Salvador. And I think to me, uh, with my work, I often try to talk about what makes me different and try and I try to sort of celebrate that as well. So that's kind of what the inspiration is behind the work. Okay, let's see. Okay, so you can see here that the bird is, it's almost stronger. Um, so that's worked quite nicely as well. Okay, um, and the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to add the the grass um, and and the greenery, and what I will do is um, I will use uh, paint and different marks, um, so you can sort of really have fun with it. So I just have some paint lying around in the studio here. I'm going to stick with sort of. Uh, greens and blues. You can use acrylic, you can use oils, you can use ready mix. Um, you can even just use oil pastels if you wanted to. So with these marks, what I'm trying to do is, is I'm trying to create an environment for the figures. So it looks like they're sort of sat amongst uh, long grasses. So it's okay to sort of go over the figures a bit. And I'm going to use different um, brush sizes just because I really like um, getting different marks and different lines. Just filling um, the white spaces. I'm sticking to sort of long marks, long brush strokes, um, but you can do anything really. You can try and create different uh, shaped leaves, for example. I, I'm going to do the same with this figure, and then the composition will be complete. So I'm going to um, do the same thing on this side. Um, and I think I'll use this bird here. I always think the more detail that you include during this part, the better. So I guess it's really about looking at the image here. Let's have a look. Okay, I like that guy there. He looks quite funny. Let me just fill this space in so he has a friend. And then 
then I'm going to add the long grasses again. So you can do that with paint or you could do it with oil pastels. It's completely up to you. Or you could mix, mix them as well. Okay, so you can see that the composition is starting to fill up there. And it kind of feels like these two figures are sat in a jungle with these parrots um, as their friends or as a, as a sort of um, pet or something. <laughs> I'm just going to add a few more details with a finer brush in there just to get um, different types of leaves like you would in an in actual jungle. I'm just sort of improvising this, just sort of uh, making it up as I go along, and that's absolutely fine. Just long strokes. Um, I quite like um, repetitive marks, so I like doing the same things over and over again. And I think that's because it just, it makes me feel comfortable and um, I sort of, it, it's almost like meditation to repeat the same thing over and over again. Okay, so I think that's it. I think uh, we have our composition complete um, and you can see that we have two figures sat in the rainforest or the jungle with their friends who are birds.